Okay, today we're gonna go over the shade skip at Salubra's Hut. This is a really important trick in a lot of the speedruns to be able to get to the City of Tears early. Uh, this also gets you the Dream Nail really early on, and you don't have to worry about beating the False Knight as well. Because normally your way into City of Tears would be to get the City Crest from the False Knight, and that would bring you in the front half of City of Tears, but then you would have to go through Soul Sanctum and all that stuff. Uh, so if you're doing any percent, this is a very important trick because you don't do Soul Sanctum at all. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to run over here. Okay, so if you look up here, you'll see the edge of the platform here. Uh, up there was where you fought the Gruz Mother. You will want to stay to the right of this when you're taking hits. And when you take the intentional death that's coming up, if you're not to the right of this... Uh, and it's it's not technically like the right edge of that, but I use that as a visual cue. Um, but if you're not to the right of this, your shade will spawn up here instead. And then you can't do the shade skip. To do the intentional death here, we want to just kind of let these people run into us. Um, so however you feel is most efficient to do that. And you notice we're staying to the right of this platform. So I can stand right here, just to the right of it, and it'll still work. So now that we're dead... Uh, our shade is going to be waiting on the hill there for us. And the general premise of it is that we're going to go up this wall, and then we're going to dash over, hit the shade, and that's going to, it's going to let us bounce off the shade, and we're also going to get our dash back. So the goal is going to be to dash up to this edge right here, uh, so that we can climb up and leave. At this point in the game, your shade only takes two hits to dissipate, so what we're going to do is we're going to run over uh, and hit it once and then our second hit is going to be when we're up here so that it goes away but we also we also get the dash reset and the pogo off of it uh, so that we don't have to come back for it later. And I'll point out a couple of visual cues and then we'll go through the whole trick. Uh, but basically you're waiting for the shade to get to here and then that's your cue to just start climbing up and then go over. Uh, and then you notice I keep dashing over and swinging at this spot. That divot right here, that, that little outline, is the visual cue that I use for the shade to be high enough so that you can pogo off of it. So let's piece all that together. Basically, it gets here, I start jumping on the wall, it gets up to here, I'm dashing over to pogo off of it. So we want to get one hit first while we're over here, so we'll go ahead and do that. Bop. Uh, and then let's run back over. He's right there, so we start climbing, and he's up there at the notch, so we dash over and climb up the wall. Uh, also, if the enemies are too far away or anything, you can pop in here to where Sly is, and depending on what category you're, you're doing, you would do this anyways. Uh, in any percent, you have to talk to Sly here to unlock the ability to buy the Lumify Lantern, but in all skills you wouldn't do this. So the only time you would come in here in all skills would be to reset the enemies over here. So, let's do that again. And that is how you do the Shade Skip at Salubra's Hut in Hollow Knight. This trick gives you early access to the City of Tears and the Dream Nail. Uh, it's a very important trick to know, both for randomizers and for speedruns alike. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more speedrunning and tutorial content. I'll see you next time. Bye!